was interesting. My parents asked me like, how are you feeling? Um, are you nervous at all? And I was like, no, I'm just really excited. I just really want to get there. And then once we got off the plane, like that all changed. Coming in on the plane, it was very interesting because I knew it was a big city, but I forgot how big it was. I've flown into Mexico City before when I was on a layover, but when I actually stayed here, the whole city was enormous. Based on scale, we went up to El Torre and we got a full grand scale of Mexico City. And Mexico City is much more vast and this is much more metropolitan. The metro was very crowded. It was nothing like I had experienced before. I had been on metro systems in Europe. This was by far the most crowded and also it seemed like by far the fastest, like the easiest to get around the city. I just ditched my squad. <laughs> The first tacos we got were, that was kind of like my first like real Mexican tacos. We went to uh, this place called Chupacabra Tacos and that was some of the best tacos I've ever had in my life. They had potatoes and it was this amazing pork. Uh, the meat was like so much more flavorful and so much more like seasoned and just like a lot better than you get back in the States. And uh, I don't know what was on them exactly, but there were a lot of, just a lot of stuff, a lot of like vegetables and, and the meat was really good. And the lime on it was perfect. Uh, the group is going to Ipoderac, where we will work with the orphanage and home, where we will work with the kids and have fun with them by showing them how we each are individuals and how we help others. Coming over here, I heard that the kids play a lot of soccer, so I'm looking forward to watching the kids and hopefully learning something new from them. Uh, we're here at Ipoderac, a home for boys, and we're painting their house right now. I've been doing the touch-ups with the brush as opposed to doing the rollers. So I've been walking around each room, painting the little edges and doing all the detail work. I went on this trip last year and had a great time bonding with all the kids and everything. And uh, it was such a powerful experience for me that I, right when I left I said I have to come back next time and brought my brother along too so he could experience the same things I did. So last year we, um, we all came, we painted the uh, outsides of a lot of the buildings here. It's cool how I got to paint both the outside and the inside because I feel like I contributed a lot to their community here. Uh, well, when I first got the Poder Act, uh, I was honestly like, pretty nervous because uh, I mean, I'm not the best Spanish speaker out there and I'm going to be staying here for a few days speaking nothing but Spanish. And uh, I was honestly pretty worried that I wouldn't be able to communicate with the Chavos at all, but um, it was easy actually. And like, uh, I just uh, I kind of got more confident with my Spanish speaking skills. I started talking to more and more people. Uh, I was looking forward to most to like bonding and creating a friendship with the Chavos here, which are the, the little guys. And they're not necessarily orphans, but they're kids without a parent or mentor in their life. And I think coming here, we kind of act as that mentor and fill that void. I think most of us were a bit anxious as far as uh, speaking our Spanish and interacting with the kids. But once we started uh, to talk to the kids and do our actividades with them and play soccer with them, we uh, found that it was a lot easier than we had previously uh, thought. Uh, so soccer with the Chavos was amazing. Uh, it was just pure joy um, in everybody's faces um, and all of the Chavos and everybody got along so well while we were playing together. It was sort of nice, like, you didn't, it, the language barrier wasn't an issue. Everyone just sort of played the game together and had a great time. It really brought the Chavos and us together, so I think that was really a great thing for both of us. I especially bonded with the younger house the second day we were playing soccer with them on the far field out by the goats and I don't know I just really connected with the little kids and then they invited my brother and I to dinner at their house and I got to play marbles with them which is a lot harder than it looks. I think it was the third day one of the little kids came up to me and he hugged me and he said he loved me and that really hit me pretty hard like I've only known these kids for such a short time and it's, it, was, it was really special.
I think one of the best experiences had to be the water park just because it was at the end of our stay at the orphanage and it was kind of the culmination of our time with the kids. The day of the water park we had a chance to have like one full day uninterrupted with the kids and give us a last chance to spend a lot of time with them before we left. Water parks in Mexico, I gotta say, are way different than America. Uh, kids were going on their backs, head first, going into the water. Like All these American guys were up there going on their backs and we're all kind of scared until like the Chavos themselves, we saw them go down doing all these crazy different things. And then it was fun because they, they made us do that with them. And uh, after going on the water slides for a few hours, we had some uh, lunch that uh, some of the guys got up really early to make. And that, that was just a perfect way to end our time at Ipoderac. Jalisco was one of like the first small towns we went to during the trip and I actually really enjoyed it. First we went to the, uh, the local market where they had all these like ladies that would just threw like slabs of meat in your face. You got to try a couple slabs of meat so that was really fun. And then we walked to the top of this, this hill that kind of just like was the center of Atlisco with a, with a nice little church on the top. And uh, at the top of that hill we were, we were able to see like the entire like countryside, the entire village. And it was really nice just to be able to just see where we were in Ipoderac. We were able to see where that was. And it was a really nice view. So we took a couple buses on the way to Puebla and immediately on entering the city, we ended up going to a small market where we got these tortas called semitas. And it was a huge sandwich that you could barely get your mouth around. And after we had eaten uh, breakfast, we went to the Zocalo, which was a huge area with a beautiful park, a nice fountain. There was a big church and just plenty of cool buildings and restaurants around there. Most of us decided to go to the marketplace where we all used our Spanish to talk with the vendors and try to haggle for all the little gifts and souvenirs we wanted to buy. In Guanajuato, we did a scavenger hunt throughout the city. We had a list of 25 or so things to find and we were completely on our own uh, without any help of adults. We had to use our Spanish, uh, be able to communicate. There is one of them that we had to form a pyramid of at least six people. We did what our group did was we went in front of, in the uh, Plaza de la Paz in the center of the city, uh, close to the Zocalo. We got like uh, these schoolgirls and we got them on top of our pyramid and it was in complete, it was in the public and everybody was staring at us, but it was such a good experience. Like the scavenger and also it made us uh, talk to everybody else. It made us have to communicate and break that barrier. We all had to talk to complete strangers in Spanish. So this is actually my second time coming here. I had an incredible experience my first time. Uh, I got a lot out of the trip. This second time through, uh, I wanted to get more out of this trip, uh, both culturally in Mexico, uh, more connecting with the Chavos at Ipoderac, and also bonding with my fellow Bells and kind of taking that leadership role to guide them through the process and allow them to get the most out of their experience as they could, just like I did my first time. One thing that I hope to take away is just to uh, enjoy the little things in life and just live in the moment uh, and just take a, the sense of happiness that the Chavos had, especially one kid in particular, his name is Walter. If you were having a rough day or anything, he'd always be there smiling. I don't think there was one day where he was sad or anything. And uh, I just want to bring that home and just live a happier life. <laughs>